Hooves Together is another notable number from Make Your Mark's musical repertoire. The song is heard during the finale of Bridal Woodstock, the special which was produced to mark My Little Pony's 40th anniversary. Within the plot, the song takes place shortly after the main cast have worked together to defeat the Troubles, and the song as a result serves as a symbolic representation of unity. The song is scored in B major, a suitable key for a song of celebration as the key has a bright, upbeat tone, and has a relatively quick tempo. This fits the overall positive vibe of the scene. Unlike the songs we have looked at so far, Hooves Together has vocals shared between different groups of characters, as it is performed by three different groups of musicians from three distinct eras of musical history. The first verse is performed by Pip as a solo. Pip, as previously discussed, represents the modern pop sound, and the backing sound reflects this, with a bright sound dominated by light instrumentation and a partial synth sound. The words are a symbolic representation of the fandom. As much like the ponies, we as bronies have come from all walks of life and are united by our love of pastel coloured ponies. This is continued into the chorus, where the singers extol the values of working together. We don't hate The words, once again, serve as a rallying cry for the fandom. Despite having been around for over a decade, the Bromley community is still rather misunderstood and regarded as bizarre by popular culture. Part of the reason I was closet Brony for so long was I feared potential ridicule. However, I never gave up my admiration for the show, and indeed one thing I do admire about Bromley's is the refusal to give up in the face of ridicule, but to instead stand together and affirm not just our love for ponies, but for one another. Once again, the music is moving homorhythmically, but unlike previous songs, it serves as a reminder of strength. The vocals performed by these three very different groups of characters are moving together, further emphasising the song's theme of unity across generations. We then move into the next verse. This verse is handled by the Dreamlands, three characters created specifically for the special. Minty, Bluebell and Snuzzle are based on characters from Generation 1, and the special references G1 at several points, such as the cover arts of the Dreamland albums seen earlier in the special. As they represent the very beginning of MLP, and the very first MLP fandom to come into existence, their sound is older in the theme. As previously noted, My Little Pony first appeared in 1983, during an era when the girl group was enjoying a musical resurgence, and as such, the segment sung by the Dreamlands has a distinctly 1980s sound to it. This use of differing sounds highlights the numerous eras of My Little Pony, with some of the guitar work echoing the intro for the G3 era, and reflects how much of the fanbase covers numerous eras. Most G5 fans started life as fans of G4, for example. Despite the different sound, 
the lyrics capture the same sense of unity as Pip's, featuring many of the same words whilst bouncing the vocal lines between Minty, Bluebell and Snuzzle. The message here is that despite having very different voices, they blend together surprisingly well, reflecting the diverse and complex voices of the Brony community. The specific reference to the ponies never going out of style There's magic rainbows for hundreds of miles Me and my ponies never go out of style is an allusion to the durability of the franchise. A lot has changed in the last 40 years, and the fandom has had its fair share of feuds throughout the years. Twilicorn, to name one. But despite this, the franchise and the fan base have endured. The song's finale brings all of the major singers up to this point together, their voices combining in homorhythmic patterns to convey a firm sense of unity, combined with a key change to C sharp major. If it ever feels like there's something wrong to get you, or if it ever feels like you're wasting time, yeah, we come galloping from across the quest You just reach out and touch your hoof to me. Much like the unusual key change back in Gonna Be My Day, this is also symbolic. It reflects on how unusual the community is often perceived as being, with the singers confidently launching into it anyway, proud and secure in their identity, and not caring how others perceive them. <laughs> 